but they're not open standards. So trying to bring together people at an anarchist hackerspace to see if we can like push forward open standards for this type of future of graphics. So the first thing that I'm just gonna shoot through is Nanite. There's lots of really cool demos that you can watch and see. Just search for Unreal Engine 5's Nanite system. I'm not gonna give a ton of um, explanation, but what they're doing is they're saying, hey, rather than having a size of the geometry, why don't we have a triangle that can only become as small as a single pixel on screen? And this is just a little like psychological hack because if you have a retina display, you can't actually see anything smaller than that one pixel size. So you don't need to have in the video game, the 3D geometry having any higher resolution of detail than one pixel to put on the screen. But in this particular um, image here that they're rendering out in their demo, it's like a, a chunk of the backside and then the side. If you have a perfect setup, and it's just easier, I think, to explain, you can see that if I look at the pixels of the hammer from the, from the front side, the pixels over here are going to be empty. They're going to be blank. I mean, it's going to be the background with the photo, but um, pretend that is blank. And then pixels over here are also going to be blank. However, there's going to be pixels along here that have coloring. And Neural radiance fields do require a previous um, model for doing depth perception on, or depth inferencing on, <clears throat> on images. And that's a little bit of the hard part, actually, that I haven't figured out. Um, but you can conceptually think that, like, if, if I have a photo from the front, and I know that these pixels here are empty be, be, because um, the, the model's not displaying, then the image from the right side of the screen, looking at the side of the hammer, it has a, you're able to potentially, this thing, it, if we're modeling how our brain works, performance tricks, it's all the same tricks that our brains do. And eventually at some point, right, you're gonna have Neuralink, um, or you're gonna opt out of Neuralink because you don't wanna get plugged into a corporate, uh, um, <laughs> anarchist, hackers, rebel, we'll create our own Neuralink, it'll be the matrix, and we'll rebel. But you're gonna have your brain as being the rendering engine for, you're gonna take these neural radiance fields, you're gonna send them over the internet, and they're gonna get piped down neuraling into your brain, and then your brain is gonna take the, the neural radiance fields and then like hallucinate the, the images. Yeah. The, the internet is open source. There's, there's papers that are all you know, public but the tools that are currently existing for rendering them are very proprietary. And so as a, as a hacker, I want to steal the flame from the gods and <laughs> make it so it's open source, so people don't get locked into commercial versions of these. For things you can just do yourself. Um, you know, like, I want to organize something. I want to do it. I want to, uh, yeah. There's synths and a lot of really cool stuff that maybe one of these people could tell you about because I don't make music. <laughs> um, oh, we need to get a class on because Draw Kickback is very dangerous. Um, but we also have a bunch of scrap wood that you can use for your project. Um, there's also project stuff, so if it looks like someone made something with it, maybe ask them to bring that to a bunch of pieces they might be chat. Um, so, yeah, definitely check it out. Um, over in here, this is the sewing room. Um, this is the most well-organized room in Noisebridge, I think, and it's because we have one really kind member who's put a ton of work and also personal money into making it beautiful. It's just you guys. Um, and so I can show you guys around if you want to see what we have. Yeah. Um, I know we start at the up downstairs, but we're upstairs. So this is kind of like a rent room, Farley calls it, social engineering area. A lot of people. Um, and so we have a lot of stuff split between the upstairs and downstairs for accessibility reasons. So you might find yourself running up and downstairs a lot, but um, there's more equipment down there. 